Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we're actually going to go over something a little bit different. We're going to go over a buy list that I sent into Troll and Toad, and uh, I got I got very frustrated <laughs> with the whole situation. So this is going to be me more just putting it out there, uh, kind of talking to a screen, letting you know my experience with the last few times that I've had um, items sent into the buy list at Troll and Toad. I'm going to give you guys, hopefully, at least my side, part of the other side, but... Um, yeah, you guys give me your opinion on you know kind of what happened here. I'm hoping that I can pull up something on line. There we go. Let me uh, make sure I pick the right screen. And bam, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it looks like my face is over part of it. So I sent in an order, and you can see this is the order number here five nine one nine zero five, and uh, they said. However, some of the items were in less than near mint condition, damaged, missing, or we are not accepting conditions that were sent to us. And uh, I actually found that this highlighted damage because I was just he trying to find it. But uh, so that the items they said were damaged, I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. Um, but that was actually the contention point, you know, because they actually labeled them as played or something like that. But so it says, therefore, we will not be able to offer you near mint price for these items. Uh, if you wish to sell these items, your, your, new, your new total is $141.99. Please respond to this email with one of the following responses. Process as is, return, return played, return $0 and played, and return whole order. And then, um, so I responded with, here we go, could you let me know what was damaged and uh, the new price breakdown, please? And because, you know, that's exactly the word that they used up here, damaged. And... Number three, they said, you can view the changes in your order by viewing the processing report. When signed in, hover over my account, select buy list. You need to click the view details for the specific buy list and scroll to the bottom of the page for the breakdown uh, of the deductions. So I did that um, right here. Here's the view details button. This is the one that they were referring to. This is the 591905. And let me make, oh, well, I don't know where it just went to. Let's try, well, let's re refresh this again, view details. Here we go. So I sent in five Ho-Ohs, five Rapidash, ten Pokestop, um, Pokemon Go singles, and then ten of the reverse holo Pokestops. And you can see the original prices over here. And they actually, they took down two of the Ho-Oh, uh, eleven of the Pokestop, and then two of the Rapidash. They changed the price from fourteen seventy-five to five ninety. 210 to 84 cent and then 16 dollars to 640 so you're looking at like between what 30 and 40 percent of the original price which i found was kind of crazy you can see right there it says wrong condition condition played so these were the items that i took as they were referring to as damaged so i said please just return the cards marked as damaged cards and rest process for payment if you confirm you're using usps i can provide a return label um and then two days later, I said, can I get an update on the return of the items that are damaged? He said, apologies for the delay. We have updated your order for you. If you'd like us to send a USPS label, we can definitely print that out and return your items that way. Maybe I scroll a little bit lower, get a little bit higher. And then, uh, so I said, label attached with the shipping details below. I gave them all the details and I attached the label right here. You can see it. And <clears throat> on February 29th, he said, Thank you for sending that label. We will get your items sent down to be shipped to you. Please let us know if you need anything else. And so you can see he confirmed that he was going to ship them back there. Um, and then March 19th, so we're talking 20 days later, well, 19 days later, I said, I have not received the cards back yet. I actually said cars. I don't know. It's like I forgot a D. Can you please let me know what's going on? He said, when looking at the processing report, you can see that there were no damaged cards on this order. Only three cards were bought at a played price. I see where you did send a label for return shipping. I can have them add that as store credit to PayPal. Calls back to you. Please let us know if you have any questions. So essentially what he was saying is, even though in the original email, and I use damaged, you know, as, and I was using it as an adjective. It says right here, they were less than near mint damaged and missing. We cannot accept the conditions that were sent to us. It was very clear to me that I was saying right here that I would like all the cards that were marked as damaged to be returned. And if you look at the report, there's only, like I said, there's three cards. There was three things that were changed. That's what the whole email was about. There was cards that had an original price, $14.75, $210, and $16.00. And, you know, they were changed from these original prices down to these, like I said, I mean, very low prices. So I asked them to return the cards, provide a label. They said they were going to return them. Now he's saying they didn't return anything because 
right here, instead of saying played, apparently they have another condition that's called damaged. This is as far as I'm understanding it. So they just completely ignored the request, ignored the label, and did not return anything at all. So I was like, you've got to be kidding me, right? Like, that was the whole conversation. I wanted to have the cards return. So I called the guy up uh, after a while. Um, they said they, they would give me, I think, money back for the USPS label. You know, I, I think I said that a little bit lower in here. Like, I confirmed that they need to be, <laughs> the cards marked down need to be returned and provide a label. There are 14 cards total. I think it was actually 15. Yeah, 11th, there was 15 cards total, and which had dropped the order by 50 bucks. I copied and pasted it, and he said, you asked for damaged cards back, you know, so that was the reason they didn't return it, and, um, you know, I emailed for a few days, I asked them to make it right, and uh, they did not, so I, I actually called him, I called up the customer support number, I used the, there's two options, there's customer support and the buy list uh, that apply to this right here, and neither one of them answered last week, and I even left a voicemail, nobody answered. Uh, this week, I hadn't got a call back, so I called in on, it was yesterday morning, it was Wednesday, and I got the guy, and he's like, yeah, this is me, my name's Hunter, I'm the one you've been emailing back and forth, and he basically told me the exact same thing that he said right here, we're not going to reimburse you, we've already sold the cards, and, you know, it's, it, we've already, you've already sold the cards to us, you know, we processed them out, um, there was nothing to be returned because you didn't say you wanted any of the played cards condition returned, which I just thought was completely ridiculous. That is the whole point of this entire conversation. They started the conversation, asked me what I wanted to do. And I said, I would like to have the cards returned and I provided a label, making it a whole lot easier. All I had to do was drop the stuff off in the mail. They even said that they were going to return the products, but they never did. So I was getting angry. I even, this is the first time I've cussed at somebody over the phone in a long time. And so I do feel bad about that part, but I called it like it was. Like I saw it as BS. Like I just thought it was complete BS. And I told him that. And I asked for a supervisor, and he said, you know, he's the he, there's only, he's the only guy there in the buy list department. I'm like, you're the only guy there. And then then I said, well, give me somebody who is above you, who you answer to. And he said, there is no one. Like that is just me. So I guess he was indicating to me that he is the top guy. Like he's the top guy at trolling toad. I've never heard of this guy, Hunter. I guess he runs the entire buy list department. If you call him customer support, that's how I got him this time. He's the one who picked up the phone there. And then um, I, I would assume he would go through the buy list. I reached out to a few people, um, Rattle and Charlie both. I was asking them if they just had anybody, any of the higher-ups at Troll and Toe, because I thought this was completely ridiculous, the, the way it was handled, and um, the fact that it was very obvious I wanted those cards returned. And so I wanted to talk to somebody who was above him because I just didn't see this guy that I'd never heard of you know, being the top guy there at Troll and Toad. And um, uh, Rattle did put me in contact with somebody. And they forward, he said he forwarded it along to the buy list department. So, and, you know, if what this guy Hunter was saying is true, then it's, he's just going to get the same. He's just going to get the email. Like, he's going to get the email that I've already been uh, emailing him back and forth about. And I talked to him on the phone. I ended up hanging up on that guy because I, I could tell I was getting heated. Uh, for It takes a lot to get me heated. But over $50, man, I didn't want to. I had already cussed twice at him. And. I did not want to keep pursuing that, uh, especially with the way it was going. I could see that I was getting nowhere with it. Um, but let me uh, let me close this out right here. So I want to tell you guys. So the reason, like, to me, fifty dollars that's that's minuscule compared to you know what you know could have been sent. This was just a really small order. There was a couple orders that I sent in, and um, you know the fact that they marked it down so hard that that's what got me because like those pokey stops reverse hollows i sent in 15 of them they were all opened up you know through live streams that just over the years i had them or i guess it probably is over the years by now but i had I actually had all of these reverse hollows from pokemon go uh sleeved up because uh, the majority of them i opened a while back and so these were all packed fresh they were in sleeves you actually have to remove the cards from sleeves and i put them in a team bag uh, before you send in for a buy list for Troll and Toad. But they are modern products. You know, maybe they had a white dot here or there. The fact that they said that it dropped from a near mint to a played was, I thought, maybe a few cards, but 11 out of 15, that, that seemed kind of crazy, especially for modern stuff that's really for playability. Now, the Hoes and Rapid Dash, those were a whole other story. Um, I was actually quite angry with those because I had this happen once before. I What I did before was I was checking the buy list. I was trying to sell somebody on trade a lot of hole and rapid ash and i saw that trolling toad had a pretty decent buy list price so i sent in some and um they did the same thing they, they did this time they actually marked them down and i was like you know maybe i just 
you know, mistake, mistook the condition. You know, they weren't actually, you know, near mint condition or better. And, um, you know, they marked them down. But this time I was very particular. In fact, I opened up two new bricks. I opened up two bricks last time. I opened up two new bricks this time as well. And I'm going to just show you guys, you know, the condition of these cards. Like, I literally just opened the brick up. So, like, I am the first person to have seen these things in, like, 20 years. Like, this is all the card right. That's all the rapid dash. I'm going to just pull a stack out here from the middle. To say that these are not in near mint condition is just kind of crazy. Like, every card in these things are going to be, like, really good condition. But I, 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 I thoroughly examined these before I sent them in. These were ones that I would have... Um, guess would have gotten a PSA 10 if they'd been sent to PSA. Like you can see like these cards, I mean, th these are all brand new. Like you can look at all the sides. They haven't been touched. Like this is probably the first time they've been touched. And you know, there's, there's nothing on these cards. So this is what I picked these ho and rapid dash out of. I think that was the rapid dash. These are my last bricks. I hated to break them, but I was doing a deal with somebody for about 50 of these and I was sending him some WB promos. I also sent WB promos into them. Those were sealed. None of those were marked down, but yeah, you can see right here, here's the rapid dash. Like if there's any damage on cards, like you would see it. And like all of these are just in so, such nice condition. Like even if there'd been one white dot, that doesn't drop it from, like you can see this one right here. Like I wouldn't have sent that one. That's got a little bit of edging around it. Like they dropped the price from full price down to about between 30 and 40 percent of the value. It was like what 1475 to like 590 or something like that. But like super great condition cards. So that that itself that that's why I had the cards returned in the first place. You know, if I thought maybe these were actually play condition and they gave a reasonable price, you know, I probably would have just processed them through. But because I knew that these cards were minty, the fact that they dropped two of them off so hard and said that they were played, that right there irked me. That, that I mean, there is there is a clear distinction between you know near mint plus and like played. And these right here, I, I bet if I sent in all 900 of those, 850 plus of them, you know, if I sent them in blindly, they would get a seven or higher. I'd say 80% of them would get nines and tens. I mean, it, it's just kind of crazy. Cause I examined them and you know, I just wasn't expecting that. So that's my side of the story. I realized that, you know, troll and toad, there's somebody that I've literally got right here, you know, troll and You can use this code TCA five and you can get 5% off of your order on the buying side. Like I have always experienced really good customer service. Let's be honest. If you buy from troll and toad, or at least it has been this way in the past, I haven't bought from them a whole lot the past few years. So I'm not speaking from recent experience. If you buy cards from them and they say it's near mint. Like it could be anywhere from like a five condition to a 10 condition. Like it, it could be light to moderate played all the way up to gym mint. Most likely if you buy modern stuff, you're probably going to get what it says, you know, right around near mint condition. And then, you know, if you do run into problems, they've always been really good about customer service. They've always taken care of you, taken care of the customer. This is something completely different. I'm selling to them, you know, as a seller, I'm selling to them as a seller. And I was, I just was not expecting this. Like it just threw me for a loop, especially with the aftercare issues with Hunter. You know, when he said that, you know, those cards were, uh, they were damaged or, and they were labeled as played within, within the order itself. You know, I, I disagreed with that. I disagreed with the price drop in valuation, which is why I asked them to be returned. And then they didn't. He said he was going to return them. I provided a label and then they just did not return the cards, which is what upset me. It's like they essentially stole those cards from me. They, they picked the price that they wanted to. They applied it and then they took the cards. And, you know, that just that, that does not it, it really does not sit right with me. So I actually pulled all of my Evo items. I, I'm pulling them. This was the last kind of straw thing. Evo is I mean, it's been in the dumps for a while i mean i think everybody knows that I, i've emailed them several times since they technically cut out you know most of the sellers there were a handful that were allowed on there uh, i was allowed to stay on there i've emailed them a few times and i have not been able to get a response about you know what we can still send in what will be allowed so i'm just pulling all my items i'm ready to get those back i'm ready to see what they uh classify as near mint for my cards I, i've got my full inventory downloaded but they seem very prompt about that kind of stuff i actually got a uh, response from a guy, I think Kodiak, you know, from Troll and Toad, you know, that was very courteous and I appreciate that. And usually my experience with Troll and Toad, like I said, has been very optimal. Um, if this code right here, this is for buying. Like technically I still sponsor uh, Troll and Toad. I I'm not too sure where I'm going to go with that. If this code doesn't work anymore, especially after this video, you've always got Rattle5's code. You can use his. Um, and I think it does the same thing. It gives you 5% off. But um, definitely, 
uh, over the years, I've had good experiences with them. But this one right here, the last two times I've seen him buy this order, has been almost the exact same kind of issue. They, this this similar thing happened with the almost the exact same cards, and I had them return them. And they did return some of them, but some of them they didn't for whatever reason. And they did end up paying for those cards that they didn't return. Um, I, I don't know what happened there or why they're not doing it this time. Uh, why, you know, the same issue seems to have happened twice. Um, it, it, it really just it got under my skin. I let it get the best of me. And I will say, that guy Hunter over the phone, he never was rude. He never said anything. He just stuck to his guns. He stuck to his guns and said, hey, you, you said you wanted the damaged cards back, and none of these were labeled as damaged in our system. They were labeled as played. And to me, I think that's uh, a crock because, you know, I'm looking at the entire conversation. It's very obvious I want those cards returned. But that's my side, and his side is, the, you know, the other thing. So let me know what you guys think. Am I just being a big baby, whining over $50, letting, you know, go of relationships here and there that, uh, could potentially benefit a whole lot more than $50, or uh, do you think I'm justified? What would you have done in this situation? All right, guys, thanks. And as always, I really appreciate the support. And sorry if you couldn't read some of that stuff on the screen. I know it's probably kind of small. Um, I'm looking at the screen, and I don't have the OBS up. So that's where my video inexperienced skills kind of comes in. Kind of a, What do they call it, a boomer or something? I don't even know what generation I am. And back, back when I was uh, growing up, we didn't really have generations as far as I know. Um, at least that I can think of anyways. Maybe, we just, maybe I was just ignorant to it. But as always, guys, again, thank you for the support. And uh, please let me know what you think in the comments.